Hey, science fans! I'm Ryan from the Saskatchewan Science Center, and welcome to Science at Home, where we show you how to do cool science with supplies that you already have on hand. Today's science demonstration is particularly egg-citing. You only need two ingredients, and you've probably already got those laying around. Don't be chicken to try this. Let's get cracking. Or should I say dissolving? There are only two ways that I know of to remove the shell from an egg. The first one is to crack it into a bowl and dump the contents out. The second is the one that we're gonna do today. Use a chemical reaction to dissolve the eggshell. So this is a very simple demonstration. You only really need three things. First of all, you need an egg, then you need a cup of glass, and you need some straight vinegar. What you do is you take your egg, just a regular raw egg from your fridge, put it into a glass, and then pour vinegar into the glass until it covers the egg. And then you just need to wait. So at a minimum, you're gonna to wanna to leave the egg in the vinegar overnight and then check on it the next day. Most eggs will take two to three days for the shell to completely dissolve, but depending on the strength of the vinegar that you use or the type of egg that you have, that can change a little bit. The egg that I have here, the, the shell is completely dissolved and it's been soaking for about three days. So here's how this works. The shell of an egg is mainly calcium carbonate and vinegar is acetic acid. And what happens over time is the calcium carbonate completely dissolves and it breaks down into water, carbon dioxide, and calcium acetate. So the carbon dioxide forms little bubbles that you can see all over the surface of the egg while it's soaking. And the water, of course, vinegar is made up of 96% water. The water um, is a byproduct that just goes into the vinegar. And then the discoloration in the vinegar and the, the stuff floating on the top of the, vi the vinegar is part of the calcium acetate. And so what we're left with here is an egg that doesn't have a shell. The only thing that keeps it together is what's called a semi-permeable membrane. Now it's rather interesting because this membrane is semi-permeable, which means that some things can come into and out of the egg. In this case, particularly water. So one of the things that you'll notice is that these eggs, even though they were the same size when we started the experiment, the egg without a shell is larger. And that's because water, the wa some of the water from the vinegar has actually soaked into this egg and caused it to swell in size. So now here are a couple of interesting things that you can do with this egg once it no longer has a shell. So the first one is, is that you can take a glass of water and add food coloring to the water and then put this shellless egg back inside of it. What's gonna happen over time is because the semi-permeable membrane allows water to pass through, you can actually dye the inside of this egg whatever the color your water is. The second thing that you can do is take a flashlight and shine it through the egg. Now that it's transparent, it actually glows almost like a light bulb and you can see details from inside of the egg. And the last thing that you can do is bounce the egg. Without a shell, the egg is, has a rubbery sort of appearance and texture. It's still not very strong, so you don't wanna bounce it too high, but you can absolutely pick it up and drop it and bounce it around on your table. How high you can bounce it might be one of those things that you can experiment with. So thank you very much for joining me today for Science at Home. One thing to remember is that this is a raw egg, so make sure that you wash your hands very carefully when we're done. Also bear in mind that we post new videos every Monday and Wednesday, so I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Hey YouTube, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If we earned it, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to this channel and like the video and maybe even ring that little bell so that you'll be notified next time we post something. Thanks so much and we'll talk again soon.